This is McFly Angler. For resin, I like using this thick formula by Solares. Put a generous amount on top of the thorax, and make sure this drop extends from the bead head all the way back to the copper wire. Yes, touch the copper wire with that drop. Then you're welcome to use a bogkin to adjust the resin slightly. And when you're happy with it, then zap it with your UV light to harden it, and your copper john is finished. Now, with some UV resin, and I'm using Bone Dry by Solarez, paint it over the bug back, and also the thread wraps, then cure it hard. And there we have it, a dragonfly nymph that is fairly easy to tie, but also looks pretty darn close to the real thing. To ensure this fly holds a certain shape, and to help it give a specific movement in the water, I add a UV curing resin made by Solarez called Flex. Like its name, it flexes and therefore is perfect for this application. Add a small amount around the entire head of the fly. And then take your bodkin and spread it rearward about the length of the hook. Then simply zap it with your UV light. As you can see, it's very flexible, so it will move out of the way of any hook set when a fish hits it. However, it will keep its shape when swimming in the water. Just to help keep the eyes on a bit more, and for a nicer look, I add a bit more of this UV resin to the head of the fly, and a little over the eyes. Spread around a little bit with your bodkin, and make sure some of it is over your whip finish. Then zap this with your light. The flexibleness, yet shape holding quality of this fly really is amazing. This fly not only looks great in the vise, but the layers of dubbing colors give a sort of translucency in the water. Make sure the cap fits over your thread and materials correctly. If it does, then grab some gel super glue. Coat the head of the fly all around with this glue, and then push the cap up onto the head of the fly, ensuring it's aligned properly. Then you can stick something through the eye to make sure the cap stays on tightly while it dries. After it's dry, then add an eye with this Solarez Ultra Thin UV Resin. My favorite way is to add a dot of resin and place the eye in the cavity. Then put resin over the eye again and fill that cavity. Then cure the resin into place. It really makes it almost impossible for the eye to come off. Do the same thing for the other side as well. Then to finish off this fly, take your scissors and place them under the peacock hurl with your finger on top of the hurl, and strip the hurl to curve it downward like so. And the fly is now finished. Now this fly is fishable the way it is. However, for durability and a pretty neat look, I like adding a bit of UV resin to the pheasant tail wing case and make sure a little goes over the whip finish. So you wanna let it soak in for a second. However, while searching for my bodkin, I accidentally let it soak in way too long. You can, by the way, use a bodkin to move the resin around to where you want it. Just do it a little quicker than I did here. So once you're happy with it, zap it with your UV light and the fly is good to go. To really keep them secure, and to give the head a finished look, I like filling the spaces between the eyes with UV resin. This resin is made by Solarez and it's their thin hard formula. I also like doing this in steps. So I fill the top with resin, then cure it with the UV light, and then I fill the bottom and cure it in as well. For one last final step, I like adding another type of UV resin made by Solarez called Bone Dry. It's really thin and makes a nice shiny finish. It also adds one last layer of protection to keep the eyes on securely, even after many strikes from fish. And there we go, the fly is finished. This is surprisingly simple to tie and is very effective.
Then I like using both Solarez Thin Hard and Solarez Flex for this fly. Put a drop of Thin Hard resin on the hook. Then stick your rubber leg in the resin and make sure the leg is angled straight back on the hook. Then cure the resin hard, which will stick the leg into place. Okay, let's add a little bit more resin to ensure the leg stays put. Then you can add a few eyes. Do this by putting them on both sides of the hook. Try to get them even as well, but make sure the eyes hang lower under the hook shank, just to make sure the top does not impede hook set. Now it can be tricky to get them placed correctly, but once you're happy with the placement, then put a drop of thin hard formula between the eyes and cure them like so. Then turn the fly upside down and put another drop in between the eyes on the bottom and cure that hard as well. Now to build the body, I like using the flex formula because it will give the body a little give, which not only feels better to the fish when biting, but it also helps keep this more durable. So just coat the entire body with flex and it helps to spin the fly around to ensure that it's evenly coated on the fly and not bunching up on one side or the other. Cure this into place while spinning the fly. Now my light battery is going out here, so it's taking a little longer than normal, but it does cure very firmly and without tackiness, unlike most other flexible curing resins on the market. So continue building the body to the shape that you want by adding more flex formula if you need. And that's pretty much it. I mean the fly is finished. Now we added quite a bit of resin here, so you could always put the fly in front of a window, as direct sunlight will further cure this, if your light happens to be dying like mine was. And of course, flipping it a few minutes into the other side is beneficial as well. But there we go, a simple quick fly to time. <laughs>